it's time for the brutally honest review of the iPhone 14. What is happening folks, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider. And the iPhone 14 has been out almost a month now and there's been a lot of stuff talked about and written on the iPhone 14 Pro, the iPhone 14 Pro Max, and not as much attention on the iPhone 14. And there's a little bit of a reason why. It's because it's kind of boring. It's kind of a, a boring, underwhelming phone. It's still great iPhone. It's still great iPhone. Just uh, a little bit boring. I'll tell you why in this review. So the iPhone 14, it really hasn't changed all that much from the iPhone 13. Really, Apple's kept a lot of stuff the same. Still has a notch, has the same display. It even has the same processors on the inside. There have been some tweaks, including the new crash detection feature, the new SOS satellite feature that is coming later in 2022, and we even have stuff like slight improvements to the cameras, whether it's through software or any small minor hardware changes that Apple has enacted. But basically, it's an iPhone 13. And in some cases, that's bad. And in some others, it's perfectly fine. Let's talk about hardware changes. Apple kept the design here the same. There's some tweaked colors, including this new blue color that I'm showing off, uh, but otherwise it's basically the iPhone 13 and even the iPhone 12. Inside, Apple's using the A15 Bionic processor. Yeah, the A15 also showed up in the iPhone 13, but there is a couple changes to it. This year, Apple is using the five core GPU that was in the iPhone 13 Pro and iPhone 13 Pro Max. So now it goes from a four core GPU to a five core GPU on these new iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Plus devices. Apple has also increased the memory, going from four gigs to six gigs on the iPhone 14 and 14 Plus. For the camera, Apple says it has a new advanced dual camera system. The big iPhone 14 Pro got all these fancy enhancements, but the iPhone 14 still benefits from a new larger sensor and wider f over 1.5 aperture. So there are some benefits here to the new camera system and that additional GPU can benefit. For example, cinematic mode now supports 4K video at 24 and 30 frames per second. Before, it was limited to only 1080p iPhone 14 also has the new action mode. This is basically like a stabilizer built into your phone. You can run around, chase your pets or kids, and it'll stabilize the footage just magically for you. This still shoots at just below 4K at 2.8K resolution, and the videos look crazy good from my testing so far. On the front of the phone, it has a new faster aperture, f over 1.9 versus f over 2.2 before, and Apple has a new autofocus on that front-facing camera. The other couple minor changes, maybe an extra hour or so of battery life, and upgrading the Bluetooth from 5.0 to 5.3. Before we go any further, I gotta thank our sponsor for this video, Basis. Basis has great charging accessories for all of your Apple gear, AirPods, Apple Watch, iPhone, even your MacBook, you can charge with their latest line of quick chargers. For example, this is the Super Sai Pro. It comes in both black and white. This is a 30 watt super fast charger. If you use the USB-C port, you can get 30 watts of power output, easily enough to fast charge your iPhone to get 50% in only 30 minutes. And if you're charging a MacBook Air, the M1 MacBook Air, you can get about 50% charge in less than an hour. If you split the ports and use both the USB-C and the USB-A port at the same time, it'll intelligently route that power to where it's needed best. So you can get up to 18 watts via USB-C and an additional 12 watts over USB-A. Plus, it's super small and compact and features a foldable plug to take it with you anywhere you go. Then we have the new Basia's Adaman 2 power bank. This guy is great. It also features 30 watts of USB-C power output and an additional two USB-A ports. Plus, it has a little screen right there on the front giving you an idea of how much battery is left in the power bank itself. As far as capacity goes, it can hold up to 10,000 million hours of juice, plenty enough to get you through the extra day or the weekend. We are in the middle of tech season right now. Apple has new devices, other companies have new devices, and you probably need some chargers to go with them. So check out Basius. There are links for all of these down below in the description. They make a bunch of great stuff. I love them. Thank you again to Basius for sponsoring this video. Now, let's go ahead and get back to our main content. 
So what does all this mean in actually using an iPhone 14? Basically, depending on your circumstances, it's underwhelming. There's not a lot to really brag about here. There's nothing really cool that you pick up your phone and you're like, wow, this is awesome. It's just meh. And that's fine. The iPhone 14 is kind of the black sheep of the family this year. I mean, you have the iPhone 14 Plus, the larger screen phone that you can get for a cheaper price than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. So that's great for people who wanted a more cost effective, larger screen phone. And iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max got a ton of new features, including massively overhauled cameras, the new A16 chip, and a bunch more. The iPhone 14 is just kind of the most underwhelming of the lot. And that's okay, because this phone still needs to exist. It makes the other ones look better, and it's still worth it if you're on an upgrade program. If you're getting a new phone every year, every two years, and it's just built into your plan, then go for it. Crash detection, emergency SOS via satellite, and these other slight improvements to the camera and memory handling capabilities are worth a free upgrade, even if there's not anything super exciting to show off about. But either way, the iPhone 14 is a nice device, and it's still a great iPhone. The iPhone 13 Pro was blazing fast and a fantastic device, and the same thing holds true for an iPhone 14, even if it's just a bit boring. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments, and there are some deals on the iPhone 14s if you check out the links in the description. Otherwise, stay tuned. Got a lot more videos and comparisons coming your way.